Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing Case File 259. The the octopus he murders. <laughs> there you go. The, the Danny Casalaro and the octopus syndicate. Casalero. I don't know what we're going to call it. We didn't. Danny Casalero. And the tentacle murders. And the tentacle murders. <laughs> That's good. That's great. I, don't, I don't know. Anyways, I'm Braden. I'm Zell. And I'm surprised we're not redoing that. <laughs> I'm Dan. <laughs> you don't like the, you don't like the uh, octopusy? I, yeah, I would have been. You just had to pick one and go for it. Oh, yeah. Well, I like to I like to pick a couple, right? It gets those hashtags. Danny Castellaro so, and the octopusy. Octopusy yeah. murders. And the octopus Pussy. party. I've been telling everybody for a long fucking time now. Octopuses are dangerous. They've yeah, been, and this been is... Uncovered. Th- this is a this is a this is a cautionary tale. Absolutely, <laughs> that's what it is. You don't want to uncover too much about the octopi. No. You look too far into the tentacles. Yeah, perhaps you're gonna drown. Slit your wrist in the bathtub. Yeah, you can drown. Yeah, in your own blood. In your own blood. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is of course murder month. Yeah, it's pr- probably gonna be like murder murder three weeks. I think probably one more. Murder case. Well, we'll maybe you guys love hey, mustaches for, those, for that two one. I got mine's filling in. I just haven't shaved I it. Can't in. man. I'm Shave too. I'm too just thick. We've already gone over this. I'm You're not, thick, buddy. You know? Listen, I hate to break to you. You're not fucking hiding anything. All right. You think? Yes, you I am. Think I'm, you're sitting on a throne of nobody. Lines? You're a throne of, of nobody. Buddy, your throne of lies is not fooling anybody. We know. You've been hilarious lately. I will. You're fat. I will tell you this. I'll tell you this. You think? You think this isn't hiding anything? And then if I shaved, you'd be like, Ugh. Ugh. all right, come on. I mean, there's maybe what, three chins? No, it's just one big chin, oh. ear to ear. <laughs> just... It's like one of those frogs. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's bulged <laughs> out. It's like that, remember from fucking, what was like the guy, the Naboo, the like main one? Naboo. Oh, the Gungan, the Gungan yeah. King. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Gungan yeah. King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a Gungan King. You yeah, shake that's it. What it kind of looks like. <laughs> yeah, I got real loose, like, lower half of my skin, too. Okay, we'll keep the beard. So gets, keep the beard. Gets, yeah. Someone clip that and then slow that down. <laughs> um, but you know what it'll, it, what I'll do maybe for next week is I'll trim the beard, keep the mustache nice and thick. I'll do that much, at least. I can take that. So. Deal. Maybe I'll trim the eyebrows. <laughs> no eyebrows. Full beard. I mean, give you a year uh, and that will be luck anyways. anyways. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, they're, 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 they're falling off. You should have shaved quick. those. Yeah, just shave those off. Get rid of the eyebrows. I'm going to have to. I think when the time comes for me, it's just, I'll just pick them. I want to hang on to the And then get tops. really mad at people when they say, when they mention it. <laughs> the, upper, the upper half of your face has just got like Thanos slapped. Honestly, I'm not even comfortable having this conversation. <laughs> the upper half of your fucking head is just dissolving. That's oh, happened. Fuck. It's just, yeah, it's just disintegrating. Yeah, it's like Thanos snap, buddy. Gone. Gone. Uh, yeah, dude, it's, um, whatever. Like I said, that's why you got to go to patreon.com and help us get, at least, you know, we could... We can only afford some like dollar store wigs right now. We like we're not even in the realm of like high quality but toupees. You can get your yet, eyebrows tattooed the... on. You can get your hair tattooed. No, the hair on. tattoo's that's not a good look. <laughs> Chicks do their eyebrows all the time. Doesn't look bad. It just thickens them up. Tattooed head. Sure, if you've done it, it's not a good look. Hair. Could you, imagine, hair is 3D. could you imagine like next hair's three D? You know what? Okay, you know what procedure that I I might have to get because my my mom had to get it, so it's genetic. That, si- that saggy eyebrow, like this part right here. Oh, the droopies. Because eventually mine are just going <laughs> to be just hanging like this. Winning the genetic lotto. Yeah, I mean, yeah, dude, it was like, <laughs> well, hey, I'm no better. I didn't even have a I'm nice window. Five I didn't even have quarters. a nice window. Could you imagine if like next case file I came in with a, just a couple cantipillers <laughs> yeah, like tattooed on? I would fucking love ones. that. Yeah. yeah. Hey Zell, for if we if we ever did some sort of bet, would you ever dye your eyebrow like men just for men your eyebrows dark? Just for men my eyebrows? Yeah, just the eyebrows. They would look else. so thick. <laughs> yeah. Be- because I mean on the stream you can't see it because it's blonde, but this is full. That goes right across. This is one brow. There's one brow. Yeah. It's just a little less blonde on the outside. 
I mean, it'd, it'd have to be a serious bet. Like, there'd have to be some major repercussions for everyone. Yeah. I'm out. Interesting. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. Andrew has to bleach his eyebrows. Be good luck. Well, one white, oh, white eyebrows. Hollywood Hulk Hogan's oh, yeah. eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, brother. The frosted tips. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we'll, we'll, Anyways. Do, we'll discuss uh, some more eyebrow treatments in after hours. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, anyways, uh, tonight's case file is uh, absolutely mind boggling. Another old truly is oh, I, I, murder mystery. I will say this: my eyebrows raised so high while reading this fucking reading about this topic. I had a hairline again, like ton of this. <laughs> <laughs> like for real yeah it's it, it's um you know one of our requirements is that if we're doing some sort of murder it has to have some sort of kind of spooky alien conspiracy it's got to have some it's got to have tentacles. Well, otherwise dan least. wouldn't even come on right right dan yeah right dan all right thanks, yeah. there you go yeah thanks for the approval uh <laughs> it's so it's this is just that, and this is in the conspiracy room, oh. just kind of similar where last week was Big Pharma. This is Big, big Octopus, yeah, man. Big Octopus. Big Octopus. Big government, um, you know, potentially sil- silencing investigative journalists. Investigatory. Where do we start with this one? Well, this one, we're going to take it back to August 10th, 1991, when housekeeping staff at a Sheraton hotel in Martinsburg West Virginia Mama, Mama, discovered me home, but not in the bathtub. My cup, cup uh, they discovered American freelance journalist Danny Casalaro. He was naked in a bathtub of the room 517. His wrists had been deeply slashed. Three or four wounds on his right wrist and another seven or eight on his left blood obviously from a wound like that splattered around the bathroom wall and floor and was so gruesome the story goes that the housekeeping staff actually fainted upon yeah. seeing it dios mio <laughs> <I> mean, okay <laughs> Jesus. what oh what? nothing okay well we just keep going no. <laughs> what's the matter with that no housekeeping yeah, no no no, no. that's better <laughs> That's over the line. That's fine. Housekeeping. Can't, it can't be some. It can't be a. Can't be a multi-language person. Yeah, sure. Housekeeping. Wow, wow, Andrew. Hey. Don't you put that back on me, Ricky Bobby? <laughs> Don't you put that evil on me, bud? That's all you. Wear it. That brain can say whatever he wants. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Just little repercussions. You remember Gary, from the bus? Yeah. Back in the day, don't tempt, don't tempt me. <laughs> I'll start dropping M words. This case file, no problem. Uh, when the paramedics arrived, they found an empty Milwaukee beer can, two white plastic trash bags, a single-edged razor blade, a half-empty wine bottle, and other than that, it was pretty much a regular old hotel room. Pretty clean and tidy. Nothing yeah. too out of the ordinary. Apparently, it was like meticulously clean. Like he hadn't even really fucking stayed in it yet, or it had just recently been cleaned. The sheets were still tucked ever so tight little that you can't get them out. Chocolate on the pillow, you know, a little chocolate on the pillow. Yeah, a little indoor. Or something. Not a ton of jizz stains. Yeah. Not visible, yeah. at least. They've been tucked uh, yeah, underneath. The naked eye. Uh, there, so was, there was a legal pad and pen. are so nasty. <laughs> oh, dude. Like, the, you, the amount the of semen in the hotel like, room you is You know, a week later, a week later, Someone's like in this room, like, hmm. fucking, it smells a little weird. Why are my bed sheets crunchy? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Man, a, this bathtub's got a tinge to it. Next time you enter a hotel room, just sit there, sit on the bed, and look around and think of everything that could have happened in that room. And it's I'll probably, tell you, there's happened. You've never, you've never been to a hotel room where any hotel room you've ever been in your entire life has either everything that you're looking at in that room has been jizzed on or someone's died. Oh, 100%. There's, those are two. 100%. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10-minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.